You've heard of science and research labs that attempt to find solutions to some of the most pressing challenges in our lives. But have you heard of social labs? Unlike a science lab, social labs bring in ideas from different disciplines to find solutions for social challenges. Let's give you an example. In Bangladesh, millions of people are being forced to leave their rural homes because of the effects of climate change. So they migrate to cities to settle in informal urban settlements called slums, where living conditions are poor. Life in slums is not easy. With lack of access to public services, facilities and income opportunities, every day becomes a challenge. The social labs try to solve these problems to improve the lives of the residents. This is where the UMI MMC UMML project comes in. The project aims to improve the livelihoods of climate migrants, urban vulnerable poor and EU returnees in collaboration with the Ministry of Social Welfare, the Department of Social Services and the respective local governments. In cooperation with Caritas Bangladesh, the project has established social labs in Kulna, Rajshahi, Shatkira and Shirajganj. A core team of a lab consists of 10 members and 6 community volunteers, connecting communities with national and local decision makers who join forces to tackle the most pressing challenges faced by the urban poor. They meet once every two weeks to identify and discuss their problems with the goal of finding concrete and practicable solutions for them. Let's see a social lab in action in Chapkira. During monsoon, the water level at a canal near a slum was sharply rising. People had to cross the canal using fragile rafts made of bamboo or banana trees. This was risky, especially for pregnant women, the elderly, persons with disabilities and children. Many parents preferred their children to miss school instead of riding on these rafts. Moreover, the cost of using the bamboo rafts was a burden for many. This problem was rated as the most urgent of 16 problems in one of the Shatkira settlements. The members of the social lab made a concrete proposal for a solution. They invited the mayor of the municipality to discuss the issue. Having heard about the challenges and the related proposal firsthand, the mayor promised support of the municipality in building a bridge over the canal. Building the bridge would cost around 500 euros, equivalent to 50,000 Bangladeshi taka. A corresponding proposal was soon submitted to the municipality. It did not take long until it got approved. The bridge was constructed within six weeks. Now the people have a safe way to cross the canal throughout the year, even if the water is rising. With social labs, climate migrants and the vulnerable population of the slums are empowered to address their problems in dialogue with government agencies. In only 14 months, these social labs have successfully enabled the installation of a tube well for clean drinking water, initiated stipends for widows and people with disabilities, allocated budgets for home repairs, a waste collection system and various road construction and repairs, facilitated awareness sessions on solid waste management and conducted training to tackle unemployment. The social labs are set up to run on their own, as involved local communities now have all necessary skills and methods at their disposal to tackle their most pressing development challenges.